Hello, everybody. Um, I'm watching my uh, great nephew, so I'll try to be quick. He's sleeping, so I'll try not to wake him up. But anyway, I've been thinking about my niece. She is now grown, married, three kids. But I remember when she was a baby. Um, and I'm thinking particularly of when she was a toddler. She, she was maybe one or two years old, already walking. She'd been taking a nap. <clears throat> I was out in the in the kitchen, and she was in or uh, the other room taking a nap. And all of a sudden, she walked in to the kitchen, and she was crying so hard. I don't know if she'd had a nightmare or, or what. And I went to pick her up, and I noticed she was soaked. Her clothes were soaked. Her hair was soaked in urine. Oh, and I was like, oh, she needs a bath. So I, I got her wet clothes off of her, and and she's just sobbing the whole time. And um, I, I was like, you know, she needs a hug more than she needs a bath. So I picked her up, um, as, even though, you know, though she was, you know, stinky and wet and whatever, um, I picked her up, and she just wrapped her little arms and legs around me and I wrapped my arms around her and she just cried into my shoulder just sobbing and uh, I was like there there you know it's, it's okay you'll be okay and um, auntie's got you and then um, when she got done crying when she calmed down I gave her a bath <sighs> so it got me gets me to thinking that's how God is with us. You know, we're, you know, we may be off doing our own thing, and then suddenly we realize we need somebody bigger than us. We need God. So we start, we get a broken heart thinking about how drenched we are in sin and how we're just soaked in, in the world. And... So we we go crying to him, and he sees us, and um, he, in, in spite of <clears throat> all our our filth, he picks us up and holds us until we calm down and we cling to him, and we we know that we need him. There's no thinking about it; we just know that we need him, and we hang on to him, and he hangs on to us. And then, when we're ready, he washes us whiter than snow with the blood of his own son, Jesus. And I know that sounds gross, but it's not literal. It just means because Jesus paid the price for our sins, Jesus is our shampoo. <laughs> he, um, he paid the ultimate sacrifice for us. See, back in the Old Testament, animals had to be sacrificed in order to pay the price for the people's sins. Everybody had to bring an animal um, that was, you know, there were certain uh, regulations or, what, or whatever of what could be brought and for what reason and and there was like a, I think a day of atonement or something and everybody had to bring an animal into the temple and there they had to be sacrificed and then their sins were forgiven but when Jesus came he being the son of God and the son of man he came to earth to be one of us to be among us his own creation um, he was put to death by his own creation and that's why he's called the Lamb of God he was born so that we could be born again. He was born so he could die so we could be born again. That's the gospel right there. And so he's called the Lamb of God because his sacrifice was once and for all. One time for all, for all the people of all time, for all eternity. So, yeah, he's the, he is the Lamb of God. No more animal sacrifices after that. Um, and anyway so the same way that 
that my niece was soaked in in yuck. We people are soaked in yuck, but we can be washed and made clean, and we can have a fresh start. Uh, all we have to do is, is go to him. And I, I hope this story will help at least one person do that. Every one person that goes to the Lord is a victory for him and a defeat for the devil. So, it just, the more I think about it, the more in awe I am of it, of the whole, of the whole thing. So, I, I hope this, uh, makes a difference in somebody's life. Go ahead and share the video, and my niece will probably be very happy to know that her story helped, um, lead to somebody's salvation, even though she can't remember it. <laughs> I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Uh,